Hello everybody, welcome back to Crack and Pack MTG. Matt here. Today we have a box of Ultimate Masters. If you haven't had the opportunity yet, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. That's how you get on the giveaways. Also, there's some links for Magnolia Gaming in the description if you need some magic for yourself. So what we're going to do with this Ultimate Masters box is my boy D-Wolf hit me up from the Facebook group the other day. And he said, hey, me and my friend Gil need some Ultimate Masters. Would you mind opening the box for me? And I was hesitant, but I said yes. So D-Wolf and Gil are going to trade, or, or excuse me, split 24 packs. So they will get 12 apiece. And then D-Wolf will receive the topper. So I'm going to shuffle these up just a little bit to help with the randomization. And then we'll open 12 packs for D-Wolf. We'll open 12 for Gil. Hopefully they both get some really good stuff. Uh, all these cards and Ultimate Masters here have went crazy lately. So as long as you get a pretty decent box, you, you do all right. Could be worse. Double Masters is where it's at, though. Those boxes have went through the roof. Um, these aren't far behind it just because of the toppers. I don't know if you've seen some of the topper value lately, but it is absolutely insane. So on the left side here, we will do... D-Wolf, on the right side, we will do Gil, and uh, let's see, let's get started with D-Wolf, pack number one. Good luck to both of you. Hopefully, it's a really good box. Of course, these are printed in Japan, so our foils and our rares are in the front, and D-Wolf is going to start off with a Seismic Assault. Usually, there's some good uncommons in here, a few good, uh, a few good commons like Kadama's Reach, things like that. So, pack one for D-Wolf was pack one. All right, let's go to the pack two. We're not battling these out or anything. They just said they needed the cards. Il Umbra and a Sovereigns of Lost Alara. Slow start. There's that Kodama's Reach. These typically average about three, three Mythics per box. And a Spoils of the Vault. The only thing that thing is going to spoil is your good time. Open an Ultimate Masters box. Pack four. D-Wolf is, he's a, uh, we refer to him as the Mayor of Pound Town. Because, fond of shame, and that is actually a pretty decent little hit there for you, D-Wolf. Because uh, he usually takes it pretty hard when he, uh, when he gets stuff open. Um, I hate that for him, because D-Wolf's a good guy, man. So hopefully his packs will pick up, his luck will change. Got a Whirlwind Adept, and a Woodfall Primus, the big green rare. See, I told you some good uncommons here. Look, Lab Man and an E-Witness in the uncommon slot there. Shielding Plaques. So it looks like we're... We're a third of the way through D-Wolf stack here, and no Mythic set, no no crazy big hits. Apprentice Necromancer, Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth. Okay, first big hit. This card's actually been going up in value quite a bit lately, so there we go, D-Wolf. Buried Alive is a good uncommon. Terramorphic Expanse is a fetch land. Just depends on how you look at it, right? Next pack. D-Wolf had a... Woo! Desolate Lighthouse. That's me after every date that I've ever been on. Followed up with, oh man, the Lighthouse and a Manland in the same pack. At least it's the Celestial Colonnade. It's the best Manland. But still, good on comments. Insult to injury there with the Lighthouse and the Colonnade. What's funny is that Colonnade used to be like a $30 or $40 card. It's amazing what happens to, to cards when they reprint them, isn't it? Next pack, woo, woo, double foil rare, and this is a lie from the loom. Um, okay. And a gamble. That kind of makes up for the last pack, just a little bit. Uh, the gamble is the red toot. Let you tutor up a card. Who else, every time they do that, they pitch the card they tutored for? I know I do. So it's never a gamble for me. They should just call it loss. But, you know, what else, man? Beautiful Life from the Loom and Foil, though. Happy about that one. 
but still no mythics. Are all the mythics going to be in Gill Stack? Plume Veil, Rune Halo, Counter Squall. Maybe if they are, maybe him and D-Wolf will work out some sort of deal. That would only be fair. I feel like. But what do I know? I'm just some guy behind the camera, opening the packs, recording it, saying silly things. Hyena Umbra and a Sublime Archangel. She's beautiful and a really, I mean, I think it's a powerful card. Just doesn't carry a ton of value. Spider Spawning, if you ever draft Ultimate Masters, Spider Spawning is a good card. Um, as well as if you want to run a Madness deck with the uh, with the Wild Mongrels, the Root Wallas, the Gurmag Anglers, the Hootie Mandrels, that one tends to do really well. Flight of Fancy. Oh, oh, oh. Sheesh! There we go. Snapcaster for D-Wolf. Let's go. Finally, a good Mythic for Derek. It's about to... I was really worried we were going to run through all those packs. And Derek not get a single Mythic. I was really sweating it. I was like, man, what can I, what am I going to be, what am I going to send Derek when he doesn't, uh, when he doesn't get any mythics? All right, here we go. Next pack. Last pack for Derek. Foil Death Denied. And a Squee Goblin Naboo. He's cute. He does things. Lava Spike, good uncommon. Young Peasy and a Chainer's Edict. Solid uncommon slot there for sure. So next up is going to be Gil. This is the first time I've ever opened anything for Gil. Um, like I said, he's D-Wolf's buddy. He should have a minimum of two Mythics in there, as long as we get the average of three Mythics out of this box. So, uh, first pack for Gil, Big Daddy Karn. Let's see how it goes. Foil Ronom Unicorn. And a Maelstrom Pulse. I don't think Maelstrom Pulse gets the love it deserves. It's such a good card. Kitchen Finks, Mahamadi, and a Blast of Genius. Does anybody else think Pulse is good, or am I just bad at magic? That's a possibility. Pack two. Come on, Gil. Foil Iridescent Drake. And a Revel Arc. So far, Gil has taken his first trip to Pound Town. Hopefully that changes, and he's got 10 packs to, uh, to dig his way out of Pound Town to take a detour. And head to the Promised Land, a.k.a. Beef City. Foil Mirror Servitor and a Rhea Dombringer. Beautiful card, iconic card, just not heckin' valuable. Fignuity, Rise of the Tides, Reckless Worm. That is the red version of Arrogant Worm, right? Was that a, like, time shift? It was a future side or time spiral back in the day? Something like that. Elemental Rune Snag, beautiful card. And a Visions of Beyond. These are uh, these have jumped up to about ten-ish dollars now. So Visions is actually a nice hit. If you had the uh, the wherewithal to grab those out, ooh, Anger five dollar uncommon. Um, the wherewithal to grab those out of the dollar bins at all the LGSs or cleaned out one of your Channel Snowball Kingdom uh, cool stuffs, you would have uh, you would have done well. Same things with Engineer Explosive. That card, for lack of a better word, exploded. Sheesh, Gil with the Ulamog. Let's go. Somebody's saying he's uh, he's designed after an octopus. Is that true? I don't know. Circular Logic, love that card. Beam Spitter and a Turn to Mist. So our second, th this as far as Mythics go, this box has been really strong. Not going to lie. We've got the Snappy, we got the Ulamog, and hopefully one more lurking in one of these packs for Gil. Gurmag and Thespian Stage. The good thing about Thespian Stage is, is you can turn it into a good land, right? Appetite for Brains. Fire and Ice, there's that wild mongrel. I may get some people together and draft some Ultimate Masters. That just sounds like a, uh, a heckin' good time, right? Blood Flow Connoisseur. Noble Hierarch, as we refer to her as Pam. And that's spelled P-A-M-N with an N on the end of it. Kodama's Reach and her husband Jim, spelled J-I-M-N, was just released in Modern Horizons 2. He's a sketchy goblin that lives in the Misty Rainforest and he eats mushrooms. Do not 
antagonize Jim. It went badly for you. Foil Lab Man, that is a nice foil. And Rudy's brother, the Golden Fang. I believe he's got pierced nipples, doesn't he? I can't really tell, um, but we're just gonna roll right through there. Beautiful Seb McKinnon artwork. Eel Umbra. And Ingot Chewer. Looks like we got four more packs here for Gil. Gil's doing pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see if we can get that Phyrex. Ooh. Oh, sheesh! It's Snappy's girlfriend, Lily Anna of the... This box is epic. Just in the mythic slot. Snappy, Lily, Ulamog. Let's go, baby. ka chow, mama. That's what I'm talking about. This box is heckin' good. The topper could put it over the top. No pun intended there. Let me get a sleeve for Luscious Lily. I can't believe we got a Snappy and a Lily in the same box. Unreal. Double Cleave. And a Tall Rand, the Birdman. He can fly in any weather. Rogue's Passage and a Magma. Wild Mongrel. I'm definitely doing it. I just saw another Wild Mongrel. We're drafting. So I, I, need, I need seven more people to come draft some Ultimate Masters with me. Who's down? Songs of the Damned and a Through the Breach. Not a bad card. It was really expensive for a while. What was that? Golgari Thug and a Dru Good Uncommons. What was it? Originally out of Chemigal. One of the Chemigala sets? I think so. All right, last pack for Gil. Gil is already, he's killing it with the Lily and the Ubamog. If we can snag a, uh, a Phyrexian Altar here, um, that would be really good. Oh, uh, we get Grave Trolled. This card's really powerful. He just, he got banned, right? Slippery Booger, Treasure Cruise, Miming Slime, and Repel the Darkness. All right, D-Wolf, it's topper time. It's what we've all been waiting for. This will make or break the box. Hopefully, it's juicy for you. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve it. All right, on the count of three, I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to see what D-Wolf's topper is on. Or topper is, excuse me. Are you ready? One, two, sheesh, Tarmogoyf. Pure beef. Look at those nasty teeth on that dude. Epic topper there for D-Wolf. That's in this video, guys. Thank you for joining me. Please hit that subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment so you can get on the giveaways, and we will catch you in the next one.